Well, I don't know how you beat today's weather. Right? I, re I really don't. And Betsy and I were talking earlier. Between the two of us, we enjoyed zero minutes of it. <laughs> We've been indoors all day. Every time you look out the window, yeah. it's like, oh, it's gorgeous out there. And, and this, so is, jealous. this is just when kids are getting out, out of school. Right. You know, it's like that opportunity. Let them put the backpack down. Go enjoy outside yeah. for a while. Burn off some of that after school energy. And boy, get ready for the weekend because the holiday weekend is here. A long one for a lot of us. And it looks like the weather could not be better. As a matter of fact, the forecast through the next several hours is looking good. Clear skies continue. Temperatures fading back into the 60s by late this evening. We will be in the 50s to get the day going tomorrow. A crisp start to the day. Uh, but it does look like a few clouds are going to be dotting the sky. Now, as far as satellite and radar right now, obviously, we are mainly clear. We've had a few very decorative clouds through the day, but it's been nothing but sunshine. And thanks to the cooler temperatures, hopefully you were able to enjoy it a little bit more than maybe Jay and I were. But you can see the temperatures currently in the low to mid 70s. That light northerly breeze continues. No lamps knocking over today at my house. Thankfully, yesterday I had the windows open and those wind gusts came in. And I had a lamp that fell off a table. <laughs> the wind just kind of took it. I know I should know better, but uh, it does look like that nice light wind will continue tonight, which is a refreshing breeze for the overnight hours as the dry air continues in place. So it's going to be comfortable if you do have the windows open through the overnight, maybe add an extra blanket too. Now the big question is when does the humidity return and the humidity will be returning through the day Saturday into Sunday when you see a little pop like that. That's pretty much when our rain chances come back. So we have very dry air, very comfortable air, obviously for tomorrow. As we start the day on Saturday, then we see that rise. Saturday night into Sunday, we'll have rain chances that come through. That then backs out. And then by the time we hit Tuesday, Wednesday, rain chances return to the forecast. So a lot of times your dew point forecast not only indicates the comfort level, how you're going to be feeling through the week ahead, but it's also a really good way to see when our rain chances are in there. If we have high dew points for the entire duration of that forecast, you probably have rain chances just about every day. There it is. That's the next frontal boundary that's going to be dropping in. We'll have increasing clouds Saturday and then Saturday night into Sunday. This little bit of rain is going to try and work its way through. I don't think this is a washout scenario for us in any way, shape or form. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you the next 48 hours kind of slow mo here uh, and you can see how things are just going to be rolling on. So here comes that rain. We're still dry. This is Friday afternoon, dry Saturday morning. Now you're starting to see that rain one state away and by Saturday afternoon and evening, the rain is still west of us but it's eventually going to catch up to us. So right now we're kind of nailing down Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then we may have some lingering rain chances on Sunday. But again, I'm not looking at a washout. I think for the most part in your National Design Mart forecast, things are, are kind of looking good for us. As a matter of fact, for tomorrow on the hour, we're looking absolutely gorgeous. Low humidity, comfortable conditions, light northerly breezes, very refreshing. Temperatures topping out in the low to mid 70s. And again, you may need a sweater as you head out the door in the morning. Here then is your Union Home Mortgage forecast through the rest of the week. We're back up to near 80 with rain chances late Saturday as mentioned, but then once we get into Sunday, it'll be just a pinch cooler. Those rain chances linger, then start to fade away. Now, Monday, cooler air is in place, but it's cool enough that we could have some pop up rain chances courtesy of the lake. That then changes back into where we're going to get more heat and humidity. Remember the little surge Tuesday to Wednesday? We get that rain chance coming back midweek. All in all, nothing too hot in the forecast. Jimmy's up next. He's got sports.